Okay, here we go. This is Garrett. This video is called Why is exercising such a big deal? Why? Now, you're probably wondering, what am I talking about? Well, let me explain. When I was much, much younger, I used to lift weights and exercise, and I would get into incredible shape. Then I would quit for about five years. Then five years later, I would exercise and lift weights and get into incredible shape again. Then I would quit for about 10 or 15 years. I remember about 10 years ago, I was exercising and lifting weights, and I, I mean, I got into incredible shape. And I thought I was going to be exercising and lifting weights the rest of my life because I love it and I enjoy it and it's a lot of fun to me. But you want to know what happened? I then went almost 10 years straight without lifting weights. And I got into really, really bad shape. I mean, I got into such bad shape, I, I can't even explain it. I was doing so badly. Let me give you one example. Just standing up on my feet for two minutes was like too hard to do. It was just too hard. But then something happened about 45, 50 days ago. Grace from God came, and I was able to exercise and lift weights again. So I started thanking God and thanking God. And when I was exercising and lifting weights, he was teaching me about his sovereignty, about how he is in control of our bodies. He's in control of our muscles. He's in control of whether we can exercise or not whether we can lift weights or not. And he was teaching me over and over again, Garrett, you cannot do anything, not anything, unless I allow you to. Not anything, including exercising and lifting weights. So grace from God came back again, and I've been able to exercise and lift weights for about 45 days now. So why does God do this to me? Why does God do this to some of you? To show you that he's in control, not you. And that he can take away your weightlifting any time he wants. And he can stop you from exercising any time he wants. Now, does he do that? Of course he does. He does it to almost all of us. Almost all of us will go through a season where we're exercising and exercising and then we stop. Well, why do we stop? Maybe we got injured. Maybe we got depressed. Maybe we don't feel like it anymore. Maybe it's not fun anymore. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's God doing this all these years you've been alive. So when you or I were exercising and lifting weights in the past and then we stopped, it's because God is taking it away. Not you, not Satan, not the demons. We give God all credit, all glory, all honor and all recognition for everything. So I wanted you to know my grace came back from God and I've been exercising. So how have the demons responded? Well, the demons burn me up almost every single time I exercise and lift weights. 
They're burning me from the inside, not from the outside on my skin. So my skin can be ice cold from the air conditioner being on. They're burning me up from the inside. And it's a form of torture. It's a form of tormenting. It's very, very uncomfortable. And I've been going through this for years and years. So, why is exercising such a big deal? Why are they burning me up when I try to exercise? Some of you might think, well, Satan is doing it because he doesn't want you to get into shape. But I'm afraid you're wrong because you're giving Satan glory and honor there. Some of you might think, well, Garrett, the demons are burning you because they want you to be fat. They want you to eat fast food. They want you to drink bad things. They want to ruin your life, etc., etc. Well, when you talk like that, you're giving the demons all the credit, all the glory, and all of the honor. And I'm asking you, don't do that anymore. Now, you learn that from the church, and it's not your fault. It's not your fault you learn these bad doctrines. But I'm asking you, don't give all credit, glory, and honor to Satan and the demons anymore. It is actually Jesus Christ who is ordering them to burn me when I go exercise. But why? Why would Jesus do that to one of his children? To humble me more, to crush my pride, to crush my ego, to cause me to pray more, to cause me to get down on the ground, face down before his throne, to show me that he's in control of my entire life down to the microscopic level, to show me that he controls the demons down to the microscopic level, to cause me to seek him out more, to show me that I need him so much more than I ever thought. But one of the really, really important things that Jesus is teaching me when the demons burn me up when I exercise is to help me to get stronger. You see, when you're being burned up or attacked, you don't quit exercising. You push through and you punch through the best you can. And by doing that with God's grace, you get a tiny, tiny bit stronger. He's using this to make me stronger. Do you see all of the reasons that I just mentioned why Jesus is doing this? Is all for my good. It's all blessing me. And it's all blessing you too. And I pray that God is giving you grace so you can understand this video. I really, really do. So yes, exercising is a very big deal to God. It's a very big deal to me. And it's a big deal to the demonic realm whom Jesus controls down to the microscopic level. So to wrap up this video, wow. All I can say is wow. The Lord is teaching me 10 thousand different things when it comes to trying to exercise and lift weights. Wow.